Hello and well, welcome to today's video. I know it's been a really long time since I last did a condominium tour here on the channel, but I'm back and I'm in Sukhumvit 31 checking out the Siamese exclusive. I'm going to be showing you around three different size units today and the first one I'm going to show you I'm standing in right now. So let's get into the video. Situated in the exciting residential neighbourhood of Sukhumvit on Soy 31, the Siamese exclusive is surrounded by a whole host of things to do, from shopping at the M Quarier Mall and relaxing at the Benjasiri Park, to dining at renowned restaurants and hanging out at quirky bars and entertainment venues that are all within walking distance of the complex. Additionally, the condo also features great transportation links as it lies in between two BTS stations on the Sukhumvit line, Asok and Prom Pong, providing convenient access to the rest of Bangkok. So this first unit I'm in is a duplex at 70 square meters and as you can see it features a mezzanine up there but before we go and check that out I want to show you the entrance because there's something quite special about these units here at the Siamese Exclusive 31. Right so this is the entrance to the unit and as you can see there's a lift right here and there's nobody else around you and that's because this condominium has been cleverly designed to give you private lift access to your condo unit. It's quite intricate and complex and I still can't get my head around how it works because actually just behind you, where you're watching from, is another door that leads to the service elevator. L let me just show you. So we unlock that. Gotta unlock it again. We'll step out onto the corridor. And as you can see, there are other units on this corridor here. So if you were to go into here, they would also have their own private lift access on that side. And I think this would have it on that side as well. It's crazy how that works, because that means there must be so many elevators in this condominium complex. You won't ever usually need to use that door. You've got your lift here, you just click down or you click up if you want to go up to the gym, to the facilities, etc. Right, now that I've explained this, let's take you into the unit and show you this 70 square meter, one bedroom duplex. All right, so first off, the door features digital locks, so you can actually enter the unit through a pin and a card mechanism, and it locks like that. There we go. The kitchen is on the left hand side here conveniently and then opposite the kitchen you have your bathroom along with your toilet, all conveniently spaced within close proximity of each other. You've got your sink here, your mirror there, a few cupboards down there, you've got a toilet here, you've got a cubicle for your bath and you also do have a shower. It's quite a decently sized bathroom. There is only one bathroom in this unit. Um, a previous Siamese project that we visited in Rama 9, if you've watched that video on the mezzanine or the loft, whatever you want to call it, there's actually a segregated area where they've got a toilet and a sink upstairs, so you don't have to come down. But here, there's only one sink, one bathroom, one toilet and one shower for this unit, which means you have more space upstairs to utilize it for whatever you want. And then we come on to the main living space. So right next to the kitchen, we've got this work area here. It's a decent sized desk actually. Don't see what more you could want. You've got a chair there. Opposite your work area, you've got your dining table. Sits no more than two people. And actually, I think there's something behind it. There we are, look at that. Storage space. And then the living area, as it should be, pretty much utilizes the most space. And I'm not exaggerating here. It's actually pretty big. I'm a six foot three person. This couch can fit another person easily. Before I forget, these units have these huge balconies. These are the biggest balconies I've seen in condominium units in Bangkok. Let's take you out onto the balcony. So this balcony has quite a lot of space. You can easily fit two chairs out here, a table, and enjoy the view. I mean, it is a little bit low, but you still do have the view of the road there. And actually, while we're inside, we couldn't hear a single thing, could we? It's very well insulated. Okay, let's go up to the mezzanine now. All right, made it to the top. So we've got a door right here that closes off the staircase to the living space. And then opposite the actual door, we've got your wardrobe conveniently integrated 
just behind it. So it doesn't take a lot of space, but there's certainly a lot of storage here. Ah, just notice there's a mirror behind the door as well. Clever use of space that. And then right here, this is more kind of like orientated towards a female kind of setup. As you can see there, we've got a few makeup brushes. I won't be needing that. But again, you could replace this chair with a slightly more comfy chair to do your morning routine. And then right next to where I'm sitting, you've got your book space, your air conditioning, a bedroom lamp, a place to put your phone, some cleverly integrated lights, and this really nice, soft material. And these little black things here, not sure if you can see them, but they are little switches. See that? You can actually control these individual lights to kind of give you whatever ambient look or lighting you want to go for. And then we can't forget the elephant in the room. We've got your bed. This is what this mezzanine is utilized for. And we've got a place to put your TV there if you ever want to install a TV up here too. And the best thing about these mezzanines is that you can overlook onto the living space, making it feel really big and spacious up here. Okay, let's head on downstairs and move on to the second unit. But before we do, I need to tell you the price. The price for this duplex at 70 square meters is 14.2 million baht. 14.2 million baht is around about 473,000 USD. And now, with the price out of the way, let's head on to the second unit. I've got to also mention that this area is actually your own private area. So this cupboard that you see here is literally just for you. So you've got a place to put your shoes there. You've got this chair and a little table if you ever wanted to sit outside or if your friend ever wanted to wait outside for you while you were getting prepared in there. All right, let's head on to the next floor. Welcome to the second unit, which is a single plex at 116 square meters. And would you look at the available space here? The first unit we were in downstairs looks absolutely tiny in comparison to this second unit. Now this unit that I'm in is almost a three bedroom unit. They call it a two plus one, but this is the showroom and it's been designed in a way where it only has one bedroom. And so because it only has one bedroom, this place looks so huge. You've got ample living space here and what they've cleverly done is they've integrated these glass doors to make the open style living space feel a lot more spacious. So technically, if you were to close these doors up, this would actually convert into another room. But in this showroom unit, they've utilized it as a study area, which I kind of like. I actually much prefer it when the doors are open, but if you actually need to have somebody living here or you want to make it into a separate bedroom or you need some quiet space, then it's flexible to give you that bit of quietness that you may need. Now, you've got to love the size of this kitchen area here. I mean, you've got your own island with a really high quality countertop. Some of the units that I've actually previously reviewed on the channel have actually featured this sort of size kitchen unit, but as part of the amenities. But you've got it in this unit right here, which is insane. I'm actually blown away by the size of this kitchen. And there's even space to put a full size double door fridge in here. And you've got this high gloss finish on these cabinets all around. Okay, we're done with the kitchen. Let's now take you through to the only bedroom in the house. Now this is what you would call a bedroom. And let me explain why. First of all, we've got the bed right in front of us here with your TV and a TV stand underneath it. Right behind the door that we entered from, we've got wardrobe space here. And then to the right of the entrance, we've got what could potentially be another room, but it's not set up like that. Instead, it's another huge walk-in wardrobe. The size of this walk-in wardrobe could be a room in itself with access to the bathroom. And this could potentially be the two plus one that they are referring to, because there is no actual other way to get out of this room if this was completely sealed off. You would actually need to go through the bathroom here and then come out onto 
the hallway to access the living space and the main entrance. If you've got the mullah to be able to live this sort of lavish lifestyle where you convert the three bedroom into a one bed house as such, I think that's pretty awesome. Do you see how I just went in circles around it? There are two bathrooms for the second unit. The first one is located on the corridor, which features two doors, one there, and another one there with your shower behind. And then the second bathroom is located in the bedroom which is bigger than the one in the corridor. And you even have a window right there to be able to see out of it with a view of Terminal 21. Now, before I forget, let me take you on to the balcony. There's just so much to show you in this video. So the bedroom has its own private balcony, which is one of the biggest balconies I've seen in Bangkok with its very own sunbed so that you can sunbathe or take in the nice, beautiful sunset during the evening. How amazing is that? That's awesome. And the usable space for this balcony is huge. And you've got your very own tree right here as well. I do like how the developer has put a lot of effort into trying to bring the nature to your condo because every condo has plants hanging from it or trees, these little miniature trees here, making it feel really nice and green. I think that's it. Actually, <laughs> the living room also has one balcony as well, as I will show you. So there's actually two balconies for this unit. And the living space balcony is pretty big as well. Look at that. Again, another miniature tree here with some sort of vines going down. And during the night, if you want some fresh air or ventilation, you can actually use this oversized window which is also a door to let in the fresh air and get some draft through the house okay i think it's time to move on to the third and final unit but before we do so i'm sure you guys are dying to know how much this unit costs well it's a hefty price it comes in at 25.5 million baht that's approximately 850,000 USD. We're almost approaching the $1 million price mark with this unit. I had somebody comment on my channel, Mergen Vlogs, oh, you only show cheap condominium units. Everybody shows cheap condominium units. Like, why don't you try to do like the more expensive ones? Well, I'm showing you around an 850,000 condominium unit. Not a cheap price point by any means. Just like the first unit, you also have your private space outside, a place to put your shoes inside. Oh, I did forget to mention that the second unit was actually on the 12th floor and the first unit was on the third floor. The next one that we're going to, I think is going to be, I'm not sure. Alrighty, just behind the door is the final unit. Let's not waste any time and go right inside. Welcome to the third unit, which is a free bedroom and is a duplex. As you can see, the mezzanine is just up there. But before I take you around, if you've made it this far into the video, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with friends and family, because I've been working really hard for you guys to show you these incredible units here in Bangkok. Now, with that out of the way, let's carry on. So this duplex is 122 square meters, but when you factor in the mezzanine floor space, the total usable size works out to 145 square meters. Just like with the other two units, when you walk in through the main entrance, you've got this open plan living space with a lounge here, the kitchen over there, and your dining table here as well. The kitchen in this particular unit is a little bit smaller than the second unit, but you still got more than enough space to be able to cook anything you want here. And uh, this is a single fridge right here, but you could definitely have a double opening fridge for this unit because there's about another 30 centimeters, 40 centimeters there of free space. As I mentioned, this place is a free bedroom and you can see the first bedroom on the mezzanine over there. But located down each hallway on my right and left are two separate bedrooms. And we're gonna start with the smaller bedroom located on the left hallway. On the right hand side of the hallway, you've got a full length built-in wardrobe. And then opposite the wardrobe on the left hand side, is a bathroom and there's a shower located behind both these two individual doors. This is actually a shared bathroom. So the other bedroom is located here. But let me show you around the first one. Now this bedroom has quite a lot of space. You can walk around it easily 
and you've got quite a big study table right there. You've sorted out your storage issue. All you really need to do here now is pretty much sleep, get up and go put your clothes on really. So this first bedroom actually has a door that leads out onto the balcony. But this balcony is actually a shared balcony between the two rooms. Rather than going in through the same door, I wonder if we can actually enter through the other door to the next room. Look at that, we can. <laughs> Welcome to the second bedroom. I was actually a little confused there because I was wondering where the wardrobe was because I think this is the master bedroom, but it's actually concealed behind this wall over here as I will show you now. Look how big this walk-in wardrobe is. Again, a wardrobe that features four sliding doors. A place to do your morning routine there, along with an ensuite, as expected for the master bedroom, with your own shower and bath cubicle. I do like the yellow mood lighting that they've got going on beneath here. And we'll now head up to the mezzanine portion. Oh wow. I actually thought there wasn't a lot of space up here because all you could see from downstairs was this portion up to here. But I don't know, it carried on further down here where it has its own built-in wardrobe located right at the end. Oh, I just realized you have lights as well. Now, if you didn't want to use this mezzanine as a bedroom, you could use it for something else. I don't know what you could have up here, but you could possibly make it into some sort of library. But what I did like is, because it's currently being utilized as a bedroom, you've got blinds tucked up here, as I will show you now. Whenever you want to go to bed, you can put the blinds down. Just like that. If you really wanted to make this place feel dark. All right, time to go on and get out of here. And before we leave the unit, that's where we will take the lift. But this bit here as well can be utilized as storage space. So all of this is still yours. And that's the corridor out there. Now the price for this unit is only 1 million baht more expensive than the previous unit at 26.5 million baht. Even though you get an additional 29 square meters of floor space when you factor in the mezzanine. Now that we're done with the units, let's show you around the facilities. And I'm on right now, I believe it's the 18th floor that is basically a roof deck pool. And you've got really beautiful panoramic views from this pool too, along with a few sunbeds on the side to relax on. And then we're gonna head on over to the gym. To which we've got somebody exercising in. As there's somebody training in there, I don't really want to be speaking out loud, so I'm going to explain from outside. But the gym is of a decent space. We've got a few treadmills, a few CrossFit exercise machines, a place for your free weights, a multi-purpose machine, and two bench presses. And then located right next to the gym, We've got the changing room, a sauna, and the toilets in here. Saunas in there, and your steam room is in there. And it also features a balcony too. Well, that about concludes our condominium tour of the Siamese Exclusive 31 project. We went over three different units. Just to recap, the first was 70 square meters, which was a duplex. The second unit was a single floor at 116 square meters, a two plus one unit. And then the third and final unit that we checked out, which had a floor space of 122 square meters. But when you factor in, the mezzanine was 145 square meters. And then we checked out the facilities. So we've been through quite a lot together. But if you want to commend my efforts, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video and share with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching, take care and bye for now. If you're looking for a condo unit in Bangkok on a smaller budget, check out this video on Noble Around, which is the building scene right here by clicking on the top right of your screen. Or alternatively, if you're looking for a condo with world-class facilities at only $400 per month, based right in the middle of Ekamai, then I would highly recommend you click on the video in the middle of your screen, and I will see you there.